So as you can see, I'm not allowed to park here. I've got to run and get inside to get this thing that I've ordered and hopefully my car's not going to get towed. So today I've got a few errands I need to run as you Americans say. I think in England we just say, got some stuff to do. So I'm going to walk around Vladimir, I'm going to go to a few different places and at the same time I'm going to talk to you about a problem I'm having because it's a crazy problem, a real, real crazy problem and I want to share it with you so that you can understand and experience what I'm going through right now and perhaps something will change Maybe you guys can let me know some advice. First stop is this place, Shesh Biesh restaurant. It's a Uzbek restaurant, but it's like a chain all over Russia and it sells more like Azerbaijani food than anything else. So I've got to pick up some food from here that I'm taking to somewhere. Look at the interior in the reception area, it's pretty nice. I'll just show you what it's like inside here, even though I'm not going to be sitting inside. It's a very kind of like Azerbaijani style look. Here we go. So my car smells absolutely amazing with this food inside. So the reason I have food is because I'm going to my friend's business and uh, in Russia it's like a thing you can't just go empty-handed I'm going to see him always have a load of fun there and I'm going to pick something up that I've ordered and here's the place airplane it looks like there's no one there what's happening maybe everyone's gone for lunch Привет. Привет. Hello. Look, you can see when other people come here as well, yeah, they bring loads of food. Someone's brought a cake, salads, there's some soups over here, some meat. It's pretty funny, they always say to me, if you're ever hungry and you haven't got any food at home, come to us because we get so many gifts, people that come to see us to collect their orders, whatever, they can't come empty handed. So they always just come here and just bring cakes, sweets, chocolates, pies, everything. Or... So who understands the joke? Let me know in the comments. Let's look at some of the things I've got here. Look, this is the break. Will be until this time. I guess you can hang it in your shop. We've got all the different name badges. Look, little coil. Who else have we got here that's famous? This says Angry Dog. How sick is this? Look at those wheels, they are bad. So the next stop on my journey is to collect a new uh, wheel, what's it called? Wheel of Fortune has been made for me by my subscriber, Andre. I'm really excited to see what he's made for me. He actually made it now a couple of weeks ago, but I was ill, so I couldn't go and get it. He left it at the cafe for me. If you've watched my videos where I created a Wheel of Fortune that I go to different places and ask people to play and... Liebe Kinder, liebe Ladinets. And yes, if we are standing now, then it's Dougie, I'll post the special box. Okay. Okay. Get speaking to locals and give away prizes. It's really good, but I think Andre has taken it to a completely new level. So I'm really excited. So he's left it here at one of my favorite coffee shops. I'm about to go in there now and see what it is. Здравствуйте. Ой, привет. Колесо у меня осталось, да? А, вот. Да, интересно, что за, что за колесо. Это огромный, да, какой-то, да? Такое. 
О, вот это да. Вау. Ты смотрела? Да? Не, не смотрела. Нет? Сейчас посмотрим. Вау. I'm shocked right now. I am shocked. Andre, I can't believe you've done this. It's incredible. Wow. I've won a million. So the next stop is the hairdresser. Yeah, of course, I need a haircut really badly. So I'm going to the hairdresser and hopefully they're going to allow me to interview them about some other video topics that I've got. So the hairdresser costs about 2,000 rubles. Now 2,000 rubles is about, what, 20 quid? Um, what, $23, something like that. And that's for the haircut. I get it dyed as well, so I look younger. So I can pull some younger birds. And um, yeah, uh, also they pull out the hairs from your nose and your ears, which is good. So I'm not paying because my friend owns the barber shop and he gave me a certificate for my birthday. So it's free. So look, this is the barber shop. All these different things for beards. We've got some table football going on. And the PlayStation here. Cool fridge. This is my friend. Hello. His name is, Hass is Hassan. He's from, from Syria. Hello from Syria. Hello. Halfway there, halfway there. So what do you think? Do I look like somebody out of Star Wars right now? I probably do. Mr. Ottoman or someone like that maybe. The uh, ears looking cool, looking sexy, yeah? So sexy. So sexy. So sexy, man. Yeah. This is a sexy boy. Sexy barber. Any, any girls <laughs> want to meet him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not, just, uh, not just, any, just, just uh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful girls, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here goes nothing. What are we gonna ready? do first? What are we gonna do first? Are we ready? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. We don't. Look at him. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying. Ah. Oh. 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 I think the anticipation is worse, maybe, than the actual moment itself. Oh, oh that's the worst one. Wow. So guys, what do you think? Looking good, looking good. So it's getting a bit dark, but I need to go and get some photos made now to do my passport. When you turn 45 in Russia, you need to make your passport again. It's kind of a bit weird. So uh, I need to go and renew my passport. And then I've got to make another passport. In Russia, we have two passports, right? One is like an internal like ID. And the second one is to travel overseas. And I really want to go home for Christmas this year. I haven't been home for three years. So I need to get that one done as well. So passport photo time. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the actual topic of today's video which is of course, why do they want to silence me? What have I done wrong that makes them want to silence me? I don't really know, okay? All I know is that I make content about Russia and I don't, haven't really made any content that's critical of America or anything like that. But for some reason, YouTube's trying to silence me. Have you got these little, little um, gyms where you are in the world? They're all way too small for me. I suppose I could do some bar dips. But these are like everywhere now in Russia. So in order to understand what I'm talking about, it's important that you understand how YouTube works, right? Um, the great thing about YouTube is for creators like me and any other creators out there, we get loads of analytics that tell us about our channel, about our videos when we've uploaded them. And this is why I know that YouTube is trying to silence me. So if you look at my channel, then you'll see that YouTube knows everything about my target audience. So it shows a list of the content that 
viewers of my channel have actually watched in the last seven days, in the last month, in the last year. You can select whatever you want. The great thing about the analytics is they show all the information that I need to know. So YouTube in the analytics of my channel will show all the other channels that my subscribers watch and if you look at the list it's going to show all the other foreign youtubers living in russia wild siberia traveling with russia 1420 all of those channels are the channels that my subscribers watch as well as mine and i can select content from the last seven days last month last year and it's going to give me a list of all the types of content that my subscribers watch and that is content by people like traveling with Russell, like Wild Siberia, like 1420. All of these channels made specifically for the audience, the English speaking audience about Russia. Now, how YouTube works, when you upload a video to start with, YouTube will show your new video to your subscribers. And then at the same time, they will show your video to people who YouTube thinks will probably be interested in your content. And what they do is they do this by showing your video after other videos finish. It's like suggested content. Now, if you look at my older videos, when I uploaded a video, they would show those videos to my subscribers, which was great. And then they would show the video after other videos have finished. And this is here in this list of suggested videos that are showing my content. And as you can see, it's all videos from the English speaking uh, YouTubers for the Russian audience. And so my videos were completely relevant to the people after they watched those videos. So someone would watch a video by traveling with Russell and YouTube would recommend my video next and they'd click on mine and watch it or somebody would watch a video from 1420 channel and after 1420 channel video finished, they will be recommending my video. And so therefore the people who watch these videos will be interested because it's the same exact audience. But YouTube's not doing that anymore. YouTube has decided not to do that at all for me. What YouTube has decided to do now is pretty much not show any of my subscribers my videos. So to start with, I'll upload my video and virtually none of my subscribers will actually see the video. Very, very frustrating, but let's say 500 people from my 37,000 subscribers, only 500 people actually get to see the video. And then YouTube will say, let's get some other videos to recommend this content. But the videos they're asking to recommend the content are completely irrelevant stuff about pakistan stuff about you know different languages videos in chinese videos have got absolutely nothing to do with russia so what happens is a viewer will watch a video in urdu about pakistani politics and then they'll be shown my video in english about russia and they won't click on it and someone will be watching a video in Chinese, in the Chinese news, and then they'll be recommended my video about life in Russia in English, and they, they won't click on it. And then what happens is YouTube will send me a message saying, no one's really interested in your content, no one's clicking, therefore your click-through rate is down, therefore we're not gonna show it to anyone else, and therefore no one gets to see the video. It's complete sabotage, it's criminal. Instead of showing my content to people that are interested in my content, they're deliberately showing my content to people who are not interested in my content. And not only that, they're not even showing my video to my subscribers. Only a few of my subscribers get notifications about my video. And so the latest video that I uploaded yesterday has got 1,000 views. I've got 37,000 subscribers and 1,000 views. It's got a really low click-through rate, which means the people that have seen my video are not clicking on it. And the reason that nobody's clicking on it is because YouTube is showing my video to people who are not interested in my content. In the past, it was great. I'd upload a video and they would show my content to people who are interested in Russia. People who are interested to learn about life in Russia. The viewers of channels like Natasha's Adventures, viewers of channels like uh, Siberian Freedom, they would get shown my video and they would be interested 
in watching a video, but now YouTube does not do that anymore. They've decided from now on, they're just gonna show my video to people who are not interested in my videos. And therefore, YouTube comes back to me and says, no one's clicking on your videos. We're not gonna show them to any more people. And that's it. And it's just sabotage. It's complete sabotage. There's no reason for it because as I've shown you already, Google knows in my channel analytics who my target audience is. They know the videos that my subscribers watch. They know the channels that my subscribers watch. Yet, when they're deciding who to show my content to, they're not showing it to any of these people. They're showing it to people who are just not interested in my topic. Why would YouTube show my video to someone who has made a video about alligators in Sudan in Arabic? Got nothing to do with Russia. They don't even speak English. Why would they? They're not gonna click on my video and YouTube is just deliberately sabotaging my, my channel. For uh, what reason? You know, what is the reason? Why have they deliberately sabotaged my channel? It was great in the past when they were showing my videos to an audience that were interested in my videos. It was great. And now they've got no excuse to not do it. My channel's seven years old. All the analytics show that YouTube knows exactly who my audience is, exactly the type of content that my audience likes, yet they're deliberately not showing it to them, deliberately not showing it to anyone who would be interested in my videos. And they're deliberately showing my content to people who would not be interested in my videos and therefore my channel just suffers. So what to do about it? I've got no idea what to do. I've got no idea how to resolve this situation. All I control is the content. What I've been doing is picking content and topics that have been shown on other channels that have been very, very popular and creating a video, my version of it, uploading it. But of course, if YouTube want to show it to people that are not interested in my content whatsoever and not show it to my subscribers, there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is keep creating the content, uploading it and getting frustrated when my content is shown to Chinese, to viewers of Chinese news or whatever. We've got a new cafe here. It says, Cafe Vietnam Seoul. Vietnamese Seoul, I guess. He said, we are cooking the food with Seoul. Let's have a look at some signs here. Look, this one says, Belarusian Cosmetics. Then Cosmetics Avon. That's a very famous one, isn't it? The uh, network marketing company. Then this one says coat, Modetta style coats. Then there's a hotel on the second floor, flowers and the cream, Korean cosmetics. So I can't be asked to go to the zebra crossing. I'm just gonna leg it over the road, even though it is illegal. Legging it over the road. Because, I need to get my photos done for my passport. Where is it? Where's the photo place? Look, here it is. Photo. And it says open. It's a moment only, so straight away they can do photos, photos, photocopy, printing. So there we go, passport photo is done. Looking handsome. Then these guys here look like Mr. Men. The Russian version of Mr. Men. They're probably not called Mr. Men anymore, are they? They're probably called Mr. People. A bit of nighttime Vladimir for you. I think it's so good when they have the lights up there to illuminate stuff. It looks like New Year here already, look. The Wheat Cat. And look, they've already got the Christmas lights up here, blimey. So over here we've got another Vietnamese, or Thai maybe, cafe and look how beautiful it looks now. 
in the dark with those lights on it looks very welcoming doesn't it wow if this was my room or my house all of those lights would be dead and I'd just be like one like crappy bulb in the middle are you like that do you change the lights when you need to we've got a woman here skiing without skis look at this skiing without skis it looks like all the cafes have got their new year lights up already it definitely has like a magical feel to it doesn't it when you see these lights but I'm not ready for Christmas yet and the prize to the worst Christmas decorations ever has got to go to whoever put this thing on this tree how crappy is that that is so bad what was the point of even putting it up there wow